My stepmother tried to ruin my wedding by saying my fiancé was cheating on me with someone else, but it completely backfired. Just a week ago, Kyle and I celebrated our wedding day surrounded by our closest friends and family. It was everything we dreamed it would be, filled with love and joy. The atmosphere was warm and happy, thanks to the presence of our loved ones who gathered to witness our special moment. We shared laughter, embraced each other, and enjoyed the simple pleasure of being together. It was a beautiful day overall, except for one little issue, my stepmother's ridiculous attempt to create drama. My parents divorced when I was young, but they have always done an amazing job co-parenting. I've always had both of them in my life, which has been a blessing. My mom is currently with a guy named Holt, and my dad is happily married to Gigi. Even though I was pretty young when my dad remarried, I didn't feel weird about it. In fact, I was happy that our family was growing. Gigi brought her daughter, Naomi, into the mix. Naomi is just a year older than me, and when dad first introduced us, I thought we would hit it off and become great friends. However, that wasn't the case. Naomi was nice when dad was around, but behind his back, she often teased me. I'm not someone who just lets things slide, so when she made fun of my hair or clothes, I stood up for myself. Our arguments sometimes escalated, like typical kids' fights, and once in a while, it even turned physical. Gigi would rush in when she heard Naomi crying, always quick to separate us. Naomi was clever enough to make it look like I had started the trouble, which led Gigi to take her side. I tried explaining the situation, but Gigi never believed me. She would wait for Dad to come home and complain about me, even though he never really took sides. He just wanted us to get along. As the years went by, things between us only got worse. My mom noticed how Gigi and Naomi treated me whenever Dad wasn't around, which led her to have a talk with him about it. After that, Dad started taking me out on weekends, just the two of us. Those outings became special for me, they gave us a chance to bond and for me to share my thoughts with him. I cherished that time together. When Gigi found out about our weekends, she was not happy at all. She insisted Dad should include Naomi, but he stood firm and refused. Before marrying Kyle, we dated for six wonderful years. During that time, I made sure he met my parents at various family dinners. During one memorable dinner, Gigi suddenly stopped eating and stared at us. It felt strange, and I looked at her with curiosity. Then she blurted out that Kyle was too good-looking for me. The room fell silent, and my mom immediately became angry, asking what she meant by that. Gigi tried to cover it up by saying it was a compliment to Kyle, but he didn't let it slide. He stood up for me, saying there was no reason to talk about us like that. His words made me smile, and I felt grateful for his support. The dinner continued, but Gigi's comment lingered in my mind like an unwelcome guest. It stung because Kyle is tall, standing at 6 feet 2 inches with a well-built body from working out, while I am 5 feet 5 inches and carry some extra weight. Surprisingly, Kyle has never made me feel insecure about my body. We have a healthy relationship, and he never brings up my weight in a negative way. Still, I sometimes struggle with my self-esteem, especially when I see other girls admiring him. Gigi's comment that night hit me hard, but knowing that Kyle immediately defended our relationship made me feel a whole lot better. The knowledge that Kyle had always stood up for me in our relationship provided a sense of reassurance that guided me through difficult moments. Gigi constantly made sly, hurtful comments about my appearance whenever we shared time alone during my dinners at my dad's home. It seemed that no matter what I wore, her remarks would find a way to cut deep, whether it was a disparaging comment about my outfit or a thinly veiled suggestion that I could benefit from spending more time at the gym. These remarks were often presented as casual observations or feigned concern, but they repeatedly chipped away at my self-confidence. Whenever Kyle overheard Gigi's comments, he was quick to defend me, reminding me of how much he cared and appreciated me. Unfortunately, Gigi was not the only one who posed a challenge. Naomi also didn't treat me with kindness, her behavior toward Kyle often crossed a line. She would act overly familiar with him, getting too close in a way that made him visibly uncomfortable. Despite Kyle expressing his unease more than once, she continued to behave inappropriately, seemingly determined to ignore his feelings. One Thanksgiving, we all gathered with family and friends for a truth or dare game. Someone dared Naomi to sit on the person she liked the most. We all assumed she would choose her mother, but instead, she confidently walked over to Kyle and pointed at him, indicating her intention to sit on his lap. Kyle immediately stood up, firmly refusing her request. I could see the embarrassment wash over Naomi's face, knowing that everyone was watching this awkward moment unfold. I couldn't help but laugh, realizing how clear it was that Kyle had no interest in her, despite her obvious feelings. 
The rest of the Thanksgiving gathering felt a bit tense after that incident, but Kyle and I managed to brush it off, continuing to enjoy the day surrounded by our loved ones. As our wedding day approached, my heart swelled with excitement and joy. Kyle and I were undeniably in love and eagerly looking forward to our future together. Despite my discomfort around Gigi and Naomi, I decided to extend an invitation to them at my dad's urging. He reassured me that if they created any trouble, he would not hesitate to ask them to leave. With some reluctance but a glimmer of hope, I agreed, wanting to believe that on our special day, things might go smoothly. On the day we were to exchange our vows, the atmosphere was charged with excitement. I was surrounded by friends and family, preparing for the most important moment of my life. My dress was beautiful, and my hair was delicately styled. My bridesmaids were ready to walk me down the aisle, and everything seemed perfect. Just when I thought nothing could go wrong, Gigi barged into my dressing room, demanding to speak with me privately. My mother quickly intervened, telling her to leave me alone so I could focus on getting ready. Despite my attempts to maintain my calm, Gigi persisted, insisting that she had something important to discuss with me before what she believed to be a monumental mistake. Growing tired of her constant interruptions, I asked everyone to step out for a moment. My mother raised an eyebrow, but I assured her that I would manage the situation and return to my preparations quickly. She nodded and left, allowing Gigi and me to be alone. I turned to Gigi and told her she had two minutes to explain herself before I would kick her out. With an exaggerated show of concern, she pulled out several photographs, laying them on the table before me. She claimed those images would change everything I thought I knew about Kyle. I was initially taken aback and shocked, glancing at the photos. They showed Kyle chatting politely with a distant cousin at a restaurant, completely innocuous. Gigi spun a tale of how she had supposedly caught Kyle talking to this mysterious woman during dinner the previous week, suggesting that he must be unfaithful. With an air of false worry, she urged me to reconsider the wedding, framing it as if I was on the brink of making a dreadful mistake. In that moment, I took a deep breath and decided to remain calm, refusing to let her ruin what was supposed to be the happiest day of my life. I resolved to play along with Gigi's antics, determined not to let her negativity control my wedding day. I opened the door and called for my mother, asking her to bring Kyle and my dad to the dressing room. I wanted to put an end to this drama before it spiraled further. I opened the door and called out to my mother, asking her to bring Kyle and my dad to my room. Gigi, who had been anxiously waiting for this moment, believed that I was ready to confront Kyle about the affair she accused him of having. She tried to reassure me that everything would turn out fine once I faced him. However, she had no idea that a different kind of confrontation was about to unfold. When Kyle arrived, I could tell he was hesitant to step into my room. He did not want to see me in my wedding dress, which was understandable. But at that moment, I was too overwhelmed to care about any traditions and insisted that he come inside. As Kyle walked into the room, I noticed Gigi wearing a smug expression on her face, clearly relishing the drama she had set in motion. I pointed to the pictures spread across the table and calmly asked Kyle if he could help me understand what was going on in them. Kyle looked at the photos, a puzzled expression crossing his face as he tried to make sense of what Gigi had presented. I could see Gigi eagerly waiting for his reaction, ready to watch her scheme unfold. However, Kyle managed to keep his composure as he explained that the woman in the pictures was his cousin, with whom he had just shared a dinner the previous week. He clarified each image, pointing out the familial resemblance and emphasizing the innocent nature of their conversation. As Kyle spoke, I could see Gigi's confident facade start to crack. My dad had joined us by now and was listening closely to the exchange. I could feel the tension rising as Gigi realized her plan was falling apart. In a moment of triumph, I looked at Gigi and pointed out that the woman in the photos was indeed Kyle's distant cousin, someone I had met at one of his family gatherings. I couldn't help but feel a sense of satisfaction as I watched her expression shift in disbelief, realizing that her efforts to ruin my wedding had backfired spectacularly. My dad, having absorbed the unfolding drama, regarded me with a questioning look and asked if Gigi was the one who had shown me those pictures. I confirmed it and recounted how she had disrupted my wedding preparations with the intention of claiming that the man I was about to marry was being unfaithful. My dad's demeanor changed instantly, he was visibly upset and turned to Gigi, demanding to know why she would even think of pulling such a stunt. Gigi, cornered and embarrassed, finally admitted her true motives. She claimed that I did not deserve to marry Kyle and insisted that we would never find happiness together. In a shocking twist, she declared that her daughter, Naomi, had been in love with Kyle for years. We stared at her, shocked and in disbelief, as she continued to assert that Naomi, being more attractive than me, deserved Kyle instead. Gigi elaborated on how she had been trying to plant doubts about our relationship in our minds for a long time, 
and when she saw Kyle with another woman, she seized what she thought was her chance to break us apart. The air was thick with tension as we processed her confession. My mom, already upset with Gigi's meddling, turned to my dad and voiced her concerns about the situation being completely unacceptable. My dad quickly agreed and, in a firm tone, asked Gigi to leave our room immediately. Gigi tried to protest, but my mom was having none of it and physically escorted her out. Moments later, Naomi burst into the room, sensing that something was off. My dad took it upon himself to explain the deceitful actions her mother had just revealed. Upon hearing this, Naomi shifted her focus to me, her expression transforming into one of fury as she began to yell, blaming me for the supposed rift in her family. I remained calm and attempted to clarify the true nature of Gigi's deceit, but Naomi's anger only escalated. She sneered at me, insisting that my relationship with Kyle was built on lies and that her mother was justified in her attempts to end it. While I tried to defend our love, she dismissed my words, laughing at the notion that I could be happy with Kyle. Naomi reiterated her belief that she was meant to be with him and accused him of being with me only because he thought I was wealthier due to my job. At this point, Kyle could no longer hold back his frustration. He stepped in, clearly agitated, and confronted Naomi directly. His tone was firm but carried an air of disappointment as he set the record straight. Kyle made it clear that he had no interest in Naomi and thought he had communicated this to her in the past. The tension in the room was palpable as we all absorbed the reality of the situation, facing the consequences of Gigi's actions and Naomi's misguided beliefs. He believed he had made it abundantly clear to her, multiple times in front of others, that we were getting married. He emphasized that she and Gigi had no right to ruin our special day. Now, Naomi found herself facing resistance and hesitated for a brief moment, realizing that her efforts to create discord were not working. During this tense exchange, my father attempted to play the role of a peacemaker, trying to introduce some reason into the heated argument. Even with Naomi's relentless accusations directed at me, he steadfastly stood by my side. Eventually, recognizing that Naomi was not going to relent in her disruptive behavior, he asked her and Gigi to leave our wedding. This unexpected request caught Naomi off guard and I felt a wave of satisfaction wash over me as they made their embarrassing exit. Afterward, I turned to Kyle, my face reflecting a mix of frustration and amusement. Our eyes met, and he burst into laughter, amused by how Gigi had twisted innocent images into something so malicious. We were grateful that our relationship had endured this strange storm. The wedding went on, unaffected by their misguided attempt to interfere. We exchanged vows, and the celebration with our loved ones resumed, turning out to be a day filled with joy and laughter, just as we had imagined. As the festivities continued, I couldn't shake the feeling of satisfaction that came from knowing Naomi's plan had completely backfired. Instead of creating rifts, her actions only served to strengthen the bond between Kyle and me. After our wonderful honeymoon, upon returning home, I started hearing troubling news from my dad. Apparently, things were not going well between him and Gigi. She believed we had been too harsh in asking her to leave and blamed me for embarrassing her in front of Kyle. My mom and dad were also getting messages from Naomi, who accused me of being cruel for the way I treated her mother. She kept warning me that I would never find happiness with Kyle. These constant messages began to weigh on me, making me question whether I did the right thing by exposing my stepmother's behavior. It has been a few days since my last update, and I learned that one of my bridesmaids, my cousin Fiona, had overheard the entire conversation between Gigi and Naomi that day. Disturbed by what she heard, she felt she had to tell some close family members. As the shocking news spread, the disapproval grew, creating a ripple effect that reached more relatives. The story of their disruptive actions at my wedding soon became a hot topic within the family, triggering a cascade of disappointment and disbelief. All of our relatives were as shocked as we were when they first learned about the deceitful scheme cooked up by Gigi and Naomi. The common feeling among our family members was that what they did was wrong. This shared indignation quickly led to Gigi and Naomi being shunned by the family. I received several concerned phone calls and messages from relatives who previously hadn't known about the chaotic events at my wedding. Today, I invited my dad over for dinner since it had been a while since I last saw him. When he arrived, it was clear that he looked different, far from his usual self. During our meal together, my dad opened up about the increasing tension in his life due to Gigi and Naomi. They were insisting that I owed them an apology for kicking them out of my wedding. Kyle and I listened in shock as they felt entitled to an apology from me after trying to ruin my special day. It was surreal trying to wrap our heads around their audacity. Sensing my frustration, my dad expressed his disappointment in their behavior as well. He assured me that I owed them no apology for standing up for my wedding against their disruptive actions. 
My heart sank seeing Dad dealing with all this toxicity, so I shared my worries with him. We both acknowledged that the constant conflicts with Gigi were taking a toll on his mental well-being. My dad also revealed that Naomi was continuing to stir up trouble, adding to the challenges he was facing. Dad revealed that Naomi was making threats about taking legal action against us, claiming she was suffering from emotional distress due to what happened at the wedding. At first, it sounded completely ridiculous, and I couldn't help but laugh at the absurdity of it all. However, beneath that laughter, I felt the heavy burden of the strain their demands were putting on our family dynamics. It became clear to me that I needed to confront Naomi and Gigi about this situation, with the hope of finding a resolution that would finally bring peace. Today, I met up with Naomi and Gigi as I had planned. Instead of inviting them to my house, I chose a cozy cafe where we could have lunch. Kyle wanted to come along for support, but I firmly believed this was a conversation I had to handle by myself. Once we sat down, it was evident that the atmosphere was thick with tension, almost suffocating. I took a deep breath and calmly shared my concerns about their behavior during my wedding, really emphasizing the pain they had caused me. Gigi, however, quickly became defensive. She insisted that everything she did was in Naomi's best interest. This response only added to my frustration, and I firmly retorted that Kyle was my husband now. I would no longer tolerate their persistent disregard for our relationship. I reminded Gigi that at the very least, she owed me an apology for how she had interrupted my special day. As the conversation escalated, Gigi stubbornly refused to acknowledge any wrongdoing, insisting she was only looking out for Naomi. This made me even angrier, and I retorted that I was not about to let her continue undermining my marriage. Naomi, desperate to deflect, accused me of being insecure and suggested that my reaction came from jealousy towards her. I couldn't help but laugh at that absurdity. I clarified that I never saw her as competition, reminding her of everything I had achieved, securing a scholarship, graduating from my dream college and landing a job that provided financial comfort. I expressed my frustration, pointing out that unlike her, I was with a man who truly loved me. I didn't need to sneak around or try to take someone from someone else. Naomi's face twisted with anger as she fired off hurtful words, claiming I was living in a fantasy if I thought Kyle really loved me. She insinuated that I was just convenient for him and that he deserved someone better. Her venomous words stung, but I tried to keep my composure, refusing to let her tarnish my happiness. Gigi, standing beside Naomi, couldn't resist chiming in with her own harsh remarks. She talked down to me, questioning whether I could truly handle being married. Her exact words were, Honey, I don't know what Kyle sees in you. A man like him with a woman like you? It's laughable. She added that while I might have a good job, I probably couldn't keep him satisfied. In the face of her spiteful comments, I took a moment to breathe and suppress my rising anger. I told her that her opinions about my marriage were irrelevant, as what Kyle and I shared was deeper than her shallow judgments. I declared that if she couldn't respect that, it was better for us to part ways. Naomi, fueled by anger and frustration, accused me of being selfish, claiming I had ruined her chance at happiness by marrying Kyle. The argument intensified as Gigi played the victim, saying that my decision to kick them out was an overreaction. Despite my attempts to reason with them, it became clear that trying to communicate with them was futile. Their refusal to own up to their actions only made things worse. It became obvious that maintaining a relationship with people who were intent on causing harm was impossible. The meeting ended on a bitter note, with unresolved issues hanging in the air, leaving me with the realization that some conflicts might never be reconciled. As I returned home, I felt the weight of the confrontation pressing down on me, and I eventually broke down in tears. The emotional toll of the encounter left me completely drained, both physically and mentally. I understood this was not just about Gigi and Naomi's disdain for me, it also meant dealing with the reality that my father was likely feeling the strain of this entire situation as well. It was clear to me that my father was likely going through a similar, if not even more intense, emotional struggle on his end. After spending some time reflecting on everything, I talked with my mother about the situation, and together we reached a tough but necessary conclusion, I would permanently cut ties with Gigi and Naomi. My mother was taken aback when she heard about the extent of the pain they had caused me. She was ready to confront them, but I quickly reassured her that they were not worth the trouble or our emotional energy. Their negativity was a toxic influence in our lives, and I realized that it was essential to prioritize my mental well-being and the health of my marriage over their relentless negativity. Though making this decision was painful, I understood it was a crucial step towards creating a happier and healthier life for myself and my family. In the two months since my last update, there have been significant changes in our lives. One major development is that my dad and Gigi have finally separated, something many people expected. 
Gigi's refusal to take responsibility for her actions, combined with the constant stress and conflict that had grown between them, ultimately took a toll on my dad. He decided to move out of their home and is now exploring legal options to finalize their divorce. After he cut off all communication with her, Gigi tried to reach out to me, but I swiftly blocked her as well. In her attempts to reach my brother Kyle, he intentionally ignored her calls. Eventually, she sent him a long message, claiming that her daughter Naomi was heartbroken and blaming me for their separation. In her message, Gigi accused me of driving a wedge between her and my dad. When Kyle and I read her message together, we couldn't help but shake our heads at her attempt to shift the blame onto me. We chose not to respond, and Kyle decided to block her as well. Since my dad's separation from Gigi, he has shown noticeable signs of relief and happiness. It seems that being away from the constant stress of the relationship has allowed him to gradually find peace. Kyle and I have been there for him, offering our support during this challenging time. We have encouraged him to focus on himself and to engage in activities that bring him joy. It has been uplifting to watch my dad rediscover himself, embracing the fresh freedom that comes from stepping away from toxic relationships. About a month ago, I had the opportunity to go on a beach vacation with my mother. This getaway was much needed, especially since she had been quite worried about me and upset with how Gigi and Naomi treated me. As we walked along the tranquil beaches, we reminisced about happier times and shared our hopes for the future. In those peaceful moments, surrounded by my mother, I found a sense of calm. This vacation served as a therapeutic reset for both of us, allowing us to strengthen our bond and create cherished memories away from the chaos that had been brought into our lives by Gigi and Naomi. As I write this, I am filled with gratitude for the love and support that Kyle provides. His unwavering understanding and strength have been crucial in helping me navigate through the emotional storms. Without a loyal partner like him, I can't imagine how I would have managed through these tough times. Reflecting on our journey together, I am deeply thankful for the joy he brings into my life, the laughter we share, and the support he offers during challenging moments. I look ahead with excitement, fully embracing the idea of spending the rest of my life with Kyle knowing that together we can create a bright and joyful future.